this video will uh, in this video we will play with uh, different uh, uh, elements in the in the shader widget this is a uh, engine block data set and these are the two transfer functions this is uh, one transfer function and this is another transfer function and I'm using a composite of that now let's remove this transfer function editor out and let's bring in the shader widget this is the shader widget and let me turn on the shading now this is right now default shading uh, meaning there are no shadows now I am pressing 1 1 will bring in the uh, user defined shading shadows option so this is user here press 1 will toggle it so one is to toggle users shadowing mode so right now it is on now one now you can play with the shadow blur so these are sharp shadows and as i increase the shadow blur you get more softer shadows similarly contrast so how deeper or how darker are your shadows that's one thing uh, this is the light position so you can move around the light and you can see the effect of light now let me just reduce the shadow blur sharp so these are sharp shadows and then I'm using a shadow buffer uh, this is another buffer which captures the the lighting information and based on the shadow buffer size you can get a higher quality uh, shadows uh, you can also have light behind so this is light behind the object now if you have a translucent object so let's bring in the transfer function editor let's change the transfer function so let's say just move it here and then you can see the the change in the shadows here okay so let me take that out let's bring the light in front this is light in the front and let's just give some depth to the uh, shadows softness to the shadows so this is playing with the light and this also changes the the light distance from the sample this goes away and this comes closer now if you want to bring the light in the in the center here you can just press space bar so if the light is away you can press space bar and it comes right in the center so this is with the light position now the light color attenuation you can attenuate uh, the shadow colors so what I am doing here is allowing the red color to pass through and blue and green are dampened. Now you can link the colors and then you can move up and you can see the difference. I will also change the, the transfer function here, I will bring it here. and then you can see also see the difference here okay so this is another one now backplane <coughs> now backplane is operational only when you have a different uh, background color uh, not black so let's change the background color to say white okay and now let us turn on the back plane so I have turned on the black back plane it essentially just puts the shadow uh, in the back so let's go here so moving the light position also changes the color at the back
and then the shadow scale and the shadow contrast now if we change the colors the the back plane colors also change moreover if we have a transfer function like this one and say we have a sharp shadow you can see here let me just change the light position so that you will see it more clearly and so on So this is how you can uh, well beautify uh, the images, especially for presentation or making say movies. You can also you can animate all these parameters in your keyframes. So so you can have a go and and create beautiful presentations. Now, after this, let me just turn off uh, the the shadowing one. So I'm toggling. I'm pressing one to turn off the shadowing. It's just to speed up the matters. And I'm also going to change the background color here back to black. Now let us play with the reveal functionality. Let me just and that these things off reveal functionality uh, now this is peel so it, it shows what's what's inside based on the the normal Let me turn off this transfer function here and uh, let me just take a different transfer function so that the effect is more, much po more pronounced. So if I turn off reveal, this is what we have. When I turn on reveal and use peel functionality, you can see the insides much more clearly because the, the top surface is made transparent. I can bring the top surface in as you can see here with the mix. Now there is also an another one. Uh, uh, this is keep inside. Now this can give you line drawing like effect. So essentially whatever is inside here in these two between these two uh, uh, sliders is is rendered. Now these two sliders determine um, what voxels to render or what parts of surface to render um, based on the normal to the user. And again we can bring in the original surface so that the edges are much more pronounced. So over here, and this is the the drawing, the edges. So that way you can you can enhance your your drawings. Or your your renderings, and depending upon what you want to present, you can use these facilities. <laughs>